Hey, 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 Cancer. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your reading. So this is going to be a reading for my Cancerian Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Cancer, if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Also, please visit my new channel, Nature Speaks 333, where I offer daily wisdom from channeling of the trees. So go check that out and subscribe and watch a video there. All right, so Cancer, you have the Two of Swords, the King of, Ch the King of Wands, the Seven of Chalices, and the Ace to see ace of wands ace of swords i'm going blind get her. so the ace of swords hmm okay there was some confusion about something regarding a love situation but there's clarity now okay it's like you see something now that you didn't see previously you may have like you know, we, we put our head in the sand sometimes, but I feel like you're seeing clearly. Now, it could be that you're going to have a lot of options and it's bringing confusion and you're not sure what to do. So you just didn't or won't do anything. You may just like date a lot of people and be like, oh, I don't want to decide right now. I just don't want to look at that right now. So with this King of Wands energy, I feel like you're just having fun, but I feel like mm, this clarity is going to come from out of nowhere. I don't even feel like it's something you seek. It just comes. Okay, so tell me about the Two of Swords. Why do you decide to not, mm, to not decide? Knight of Pentacles, see? Yeah, I feel like, all right, you are, you are going to be afraid you're going to make the wrong decision. So you're deciding not to decide. So you're just going to take it slow, which is fine, which is good. Because I do feel like you're having fun while you're taking it slow. Ace of Wands. Yep, that's that. Having fun, right? Ace of Wands is very passionate, right? Is very forward movement. It's like you're moving forward, but you're not. It's you're moving forward with several people. You're just dating. There's a lot of passion here, but you're taking your time or you're going to take your time in making a choice from the choices that are placed in front of you. Can I have one more on this Two of Swords? Is there any other reason why Cancer is deciding not to decide? I want to see if there's a deeper reason. I kind of feel like there may be. Let's see what comes out. Oh, are you not wanting to tell me, Cancer? There we go. Thank you. Five of Chalices. There you have it. I knew I felt it. So something about a past relationship, there's sadness, disappointment, and I feel like you just don't want to put your heart into something too soon for fear of being hurt. Can you tell me more about this five of chalices? What is it that happened in this relationship where it's got cancer kind of um, frozen or will have them frozen in decision? Eight of chalices. Okay, somebody walked away or you walked away from somebody. So it could be a fear of abandonment. It could be a fear of things just not working out and you putting your energy into something, right? 
I mean, all love is a leap of faith and yeah, it takes courage, right? I'm right there with you, Cancer. I, I know. You do decide though. I feel that you do decide. As, I mean, the Ace of Swords here, this clarity, you do decide. Now, whether this is a decision to just remain single or this is a decision that you're choosing somebody remains to be seen. We shall see. We have the stars. Yeah, see, it's like while you're doing this, this is clarifying the King of Wands here. While you're doing this, Cancer, you're healing. They just said a part of your soul. There's something about this experience. I feel like you're making the right decision or you will make the right decision and not making a decision at first. Because it's through the, the, the experience with all of these people where healing resides. That's interesting. And it, it's not even like you know it or you will know it, but it'll happen. Tell me more about this. Tell me more about the star here. The queen of wands. Ooh. Oh, kids, kids, kids. Through this whole endeavor here, you will find your divine counterpart. So it's like you have wish fulfillment here and you don't even know it. You, you won't know it until you know it. Tell me more about this divine counterpart. See, this could be a twin with the moon card here. You don't see it. You won't see it. But that's the best feeling, right, kids? When well, you don't see it at first and then all of a sudden, bam, comes out of left field. That's the best feeling. The unexpected. The unexpected connection, right? It's not even unexpected person because anybody can show up, right? Every, anybody and everybody can be an option. But that connection, there's there that's special. That is unique. That is one of a kind. This is what you find. One of a kind. So tell me that rhymes. So tell me about the seven of chalices. Tell me about the seven of chalices, about these options here. The hair of font, one of them could be a Taurus. There's a Taurus that keeps popping up in your reading. But this is that spiritual connection with one of these people. Eight of wands. So one of these people may be at a distance or the person that you will be connected with spiritually to a pentacles. This is you. Do I make this decision? Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. Cancer, you're going to have your options here. One of these options, I mean, it may be more than one that'll be at a distance, but this particular one that's at a distance this is the one that you're going to choose. The reason why you don't know or feel like the spiritual connection, I want to say it's because of the distance, but there's something, I guess it is, because I feel like you finally come face to face with this individual physically, and that's when something clicks. I feel like you do have an inkling beforehand, but there's an unsurety there. There's a confusion there. And I feel like with all these other people in the mix, there's that's where the confusion was lying. But I feel like that was purposeful. I feel like spirit's doing that. Your higher self is doing that because of the lessons, this healing that you need from these other folks. That's what they just said, these other folks. F-O-L-K-S, which I don't normally use that word, but that's what they're saying. I don't know why. Okay, so tell me about the Ace of Swords. Nine of Wands. This is going to break down your walls, this clarity. 
it's like it's going to shatter. Well, that rhymes too. This clarity will shatter your reality. Two of chalices. Yep. Here's the choice. There's the choice, Cancer. Queen of Pentacles. There's you grounding that reality, creating your world, deciding to create your world with this individual. How does this individual feel about Cancer? Seven of Pentacles. They feel like they would like to invest in you. They have a lot of patience with you. King of Swords. They feel like that this relationship is a very fair one. It's a very, um, yeah, the Emperor is a very reciprocal one. There's a there's an even amount of give and take. They have faith in this relationship. There's a knowing within this relationship uh, that that's why they're they're feeling this emperor quality right they feel they see you as the emperor but they too yeah they see you as having strength as well it's that connection see they know they know they feel what you've been through even if you haven't told them so tell me what advice you have for cancer very cool very very cool death go with this transformation <laughs> they just said follow the yellow brick road follow the yellow brick road just keep following it and don't look back and it, it there's an acceptance that you need to have each step of the way okay and just go with the growth go with the growth okay all right let's get you an advice card for cancer what advice do we have All right time time can be seen to be both linear and a spiral circle back to explore concepts from the past and create the future okay so what can you learn from the past to create your future and I feel that that that's all wrapped up in these people these folks folks these folks all right, Cancer, I hope this resonated. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already have it, if you're interested in a personal reading. That way, this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Don't forget to go subscribe to Nature Speaks 333 and watch a video where I do one every day. Go outside and channel the trees. They have messages for humanity that must be heard. So go check that out, Cancer. You have yourself a spectacular day and I will catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.